Inside the Ropes, taking you behind the scenes of tournament preparation. Last year it was 1,012, but I know that there's been more since then. The staff went through them leading up to the tournament, so ideally during this week we'll just be raking them um, and just making sure that they're presented in a you know, consistent manner across the golf course. Usually it takes us uh, two weeks to go through all of them. We just schedule them out, so that way uh, making sure that every 14 days every bunker's been, been raked. They basically work out from the shop and go north and south, and then we have a uh, tractor that'll bring them back in on a, on a trailer. So it's uh, just little little things now, just raking, making sure everything's prepped and looking good. We have four bunker crew leaders. Uh, there would be two per, uh, per nine. Um, and then they are responsible for about 10 to 12 um, bunker rakers and then themselves. And they split uh, for the front nine. Nine works backwards towards five. One works forward again to five. Um, so they're kind of organized and they stick with their bunker leader. They walk out, grab a rake, and then they walk out to the course. Yeah, it's hard work. Um, it, it's tough. You want, them, you want them to be, you know, take some ownership and, and take care of all the bunkers, but it's, it's, it's difficult. It's been tough. There's a lot, uh, especially when you get rain. That's going to be the hardest thing. We're hoping for none this week. Um, but, you know, if you get a large amount of rain or at least a heavy, heavy rain, They'll wash out pretty easy, and we just have to really work on getting them back together and ready to go. We have a couple bunkers that are, you know, a few feet in diameter. Um, you know, probably the most challenging bunker to get out of, at least on the front, is uh, in six green. It kind of cuts into the green, and if you're standing in it, you can't see any point of the green. So, yeah, there's probably bunkers that have. Um, 10, 15 feet of, of elevation change from the top to the bottom, so they're they're pretty dramatic. Um, so they look a little imposing as you come in, and it's definitely uh, part of the design aspect is to steer you, or make you think about something to steer you away from certain parts of the golf course. You know, a lot of the bunkers, yeah, they'll be odd slopes or very narrow spaces to, that the ball can be in, so, you know, you're, in a lot of them you can't actually hit it forward, you might have to just punch it out. There's one on hole three that's pretty steep and you just gotta keep it, keep all the sand at the top. And so I'd say that one's pretty tough. 